Welcome back to another Stay Plugged In video. Before we get into it, give this video a like and subscribe to our channel to stay updated to our latest videos. In this segment, we are going to cover the common reasons why LED drivers may fail in the field. While there are a multitude of reasons why LED drivers may fail in the field, we're going to direct our focus for the purpose of this video discussion to the most prevalent. Now, the common failure cause for LED drivers is a direct result of an overvoltage condition. And this is often referred to as input voltage spikes. Now, LED drivers are supposed to be operating within a finite input voltage range and exposing an LED driver to voltage levels that are greater than its maximum range will actually lead to a failure. Now, voltage spikes, surges, or other unstable inputs may cause stress in the internal components, which will lead to a premature failure. Now, to remedy this, it is recommended to monitor the input power quality being fed to the driver and to utilize surge protection or suppression devices when possible to protect the driver should a surge or an overvoltage condition occur. Now, the second common failure cause of LED drivers is overheating and thermal stress conditions. High ambient temperatures, inadequate derating, or other improper driver placement issues within the confined spaces contributes to inadequate heat dissipation. Now, as a result of the internal components of the driver being overheated, they're actually going to be brought outside their operating tolerances and degrade their performance over time. And this leads to an eventual failure. To remedy this, it is recommended to have temperature monitoring or other defined limits on the operating environment of the driver. This will actually allow you to, for measures to be taken and ensure effective thermal management to mitigate the thermal stress related failures. These measures can also include heat sinking protection or improved ventilation. Now an additional cause of failure has to do with harsh operating environments where the IP rating is inadequate for this application. The vast majority of drivers being utilized in outdoor environments must possess an IP or ingress protection rating of IP65 or IP67 to ensure that they will be suitable for this harsh operating environment. To remedy this, it is suggested to utilize a minimum of an IP65 driver for damp and wet environments and an IP67 or 68 rating for, for environments where the driver may be temporarily submerged underwater for a short duration, and typically that duration is around 30 minutes. Additionally, a weather-rated NEMA 4 or 4X enclosure will provide the degree of protection to the driver and equipment from ingress of either water, which is rain, snow, sleet, splashing water, or even a hose-directed water or even wind-blown dust. Now, understanding the potential areas that commonly cause failures with LED drivers will enable you to be proactive in your maintenance and support plans to have a successful install. Hey, to learn more about selecting the right LED drivers for your application, give us a call here at TRC Electronics or visit our website at trcelectronics.com. If you find this content helpful and would like to see more content related to LED drivers, hit the like button, subscribe to our channel, and put some comments in the chat. We'd love to hear your feedback on our content and we'll see you on the next episode.